coming into Sukhasana, or easy pose, is cross-legged position, relaxing the shoulders and growing nice and tall. You're going to take three deep cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, filling up the belly on the inhale, and then gently exhaling through the mouth. Now try to elongate those breaths, so breathing in for five seconds, and then exhaling for five seconds. Option to keep the eyes closed softly here. We're just taking a couple of neck rolls to the right. So drawing a big circle with the crown of the head. Of course, not doing anything that makes your neck feel uncomfortable, but also if you have an area that you notice you would like to hang out in a little bit more, that's fine as well. And last one here. And then go ahead and reverse. So we're drawing counterclockwise circles with the crown of the head. Noticing the different muscle ranges of motion as you rotate the head around. And then gently lacing your fingers together. You're going to press the upper parts of the fingers into the chin as you extend the neck and take your gaze upward. Try to bring your elbows close together to get a little more of that stretch in the front of the neck. Exhale, release. Taking that right hand, you're gonna reach over the top of the head and grab the left side of the head as you direct the ear down toward the right shoulder, not pulling too hard. You're gonna reach your left hand down toward your mat. So you feel this elongation from the fingertip all the way up to the left ear. Breathing into that. Exhale, softly release and taking the right hand down to your mat. Left hand comes up overhead as you direct your pressure down toward that left shoulder, reaching those right fingertips away from you, depressing that shoulder, so kind of releasing it away from the ear. And then exhale, gently release. So lacing your fingers together, you're gonna to press the palms down toward the floor. As you inhale, lifting the palms up toward the sky. Exhale, releasing the hands down to the earth. Repeating, lacing the hands together, lifting up on the inhalation, and then exhale, release. And then one more. Uh, just taking a couple of wrist rolls, bringing those fingers in to meet each other as you rotate back around. And then flipping and going the opposite direction. And warming up those fingers, you're going to extend out nice and wide, spreading the fingertips. And then squeezing and gripping your hands together. And just alternating between that flexion and extension of the fingers. Left hand comes to right palm. Grabbing those fingertips, you're going to extend the wrist just a little bit as you straighten the elbow. Holding, breathing, maybe coming into that stretch a little bit more as you exhale. Gently releasing, you're gonna to flip to the other side. So pressing on the, on the bottom side of the left fingers as you extend that wrist, fingertips down to the floor. Go ahead and straighten your elbow. Breathing. Great. Releasing those hands, go ahead and flip it over into your tabletop position. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. If it's more comfortable for you to take a fist and use that to make your contact with the ground, we're taking a couple of rounds of cat-cow here. So dropping the belly and the chest down to the floor as you take your gaze upward on the inhalation, 
and then exhaling, rounding the spine, drawing the belly button up and in, taking your gaze down toward your thighs. Inhale, dropping the belly down. Exhale, rounding the spine. Bringing it back into a neutral tabletop position. So top of the head is very long, all the way down to the tailbone. So right hand floats up, thumb comes up to ceiling. Exhale, lower back down, taking the left hand up. So we're just warming up the back of the shoulders here, alternating between right and left. Couple more. And then let's take the legs. So plant those hands or fists on the floor again, lining up the hands underneath the shoulders. Shifting your weight over to that left knee, you're gonna drive the right heel toward the back of your mat. So really feeling a nice long line from the crown of the head all the way to the heel. Engaging those glutes, drawing that belly button into the spine, and checking in to notice that your hip points are square with the floor. Hold. Exhale, release that knee down to the floor, shifting your weight over to the right knee now. And drive that left heel toward the back wall. Crown of head nice and elongated. Drawing the chin down and in. So we're kind of creating this retraction of the neck. Engaging those glutes, making sure that the hip points are square with the floor. And holding. Exhale, gently release. If it's in your practice today, we're gonna take a downward dog. So hands come out nice and wide, splaying the fingers out so you have a nice wide piece of support. Index fingers should point toward the front of the mat. Tuck your back toes as you begin to shift the hips up and back. Maybe you keep your knees bent here for this first down dog. Maybe you can pedal those heels out just a little bit to get a stretch in the calf muscles and the hamstrings. Take your gaze in between your hands as you start to walk your feet up to meet your hands at the top of your mat. Inhale, and then exhale, releasing the belly down on top of the thighs. Maybe take your stance a little bit wider so your belly can rest in between the thighs. Grabbing opposite hand to opposite elbow, we're gonna take rag doll and feel free to rock back and forth, releasing the top of the head down to the floor to create some traction and space in between the vertebrae. Come back to center, release your hands down to the floor. As you inhale, straighten the legs, hands come up to shins for flat back. Tuck that chin. Draw shoulder blades down away from the ears. Exhale, release those hands back down to the floor. Softly bend the knees. And then if you, when you inhale, you're rolling up, straighten the knee, straightening the knees, coming up vertebrae by vertebrae. Rolling the shoulders back as you take your gaze forward for mountain pose. Draw those shoulder blades down and back. Rotate the palms to face the front of the mat. Plant those feet firmly on the floor. Lift those kneecaps by engaging the thighs and shine that chest forward. Inhale, reach those hands up to the side. Hands knee above the head. Exhale, coming into a little baby back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, coming into a high plank. Option here to come down on the knees, but we're definitely gonna lower down through Chaturanga or down to the belly. Flip those toes as you roll the shoulders back, coming up into your cobra. Hands should be under shoulders. Elbows close to the ribs, squeezing those glutes. Breathing. Exhale, gently releasing down to the floor. 
tucking those toes, you're gonna put your hands um, out in front of you so that palms face the floor. Elbows are underneath shoulders now and forearms are parallel with each other. I'm gonna send the hips up into a forearm plank. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Good, gently release down to the floor. Hands come underneath the shoulders here. I'm gonna tuck the toes, sending the hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Maybe you can straighten those knees out just a little bit more. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Left foot plants in the middle of your mat. Send your right foot up toward the sky for three-legged dog. As you exhale, shift your weight into the hands coming into this plank position. Knee comes up to nose. And then maybe you can step it through foot in between the hands. Maybe you have to walk it up a little bit. Knee over ankle. You're going to sweep the hands up overhead and sink down into that high lunge. Holding here, notice that stretch that you're feeling in the hip on the left side. Feeling that weight, and that heat generating in the front thigh. Take a bend in that back knee, so you're kind of hovering it off the floor. Option to stay here. Option to bring the hands to heart center. Twisting the spine and making contact of the left elbow with the outer right knee. Keeping the hands at heart center, pressing into that knee takes you into a spinal twist a little bit more. Exhale, gently releasing your twist. Arms come up overhead. You're gonna take that knee down to the floor, hovering about a couple inches off the floor. So we're gonna take a nice exercise here. So pressing off of that back foot, you're gonna come up into a chair pose where your heels, your weight is in your heels. Should be able to see those knees past the toes. And then step that left foot back into your kneel. So we're alternating between those two for three, two, one. Exhale. Straighten those knees, coming back up into your mountain pose. Finding a nice breath here. Step that left foot back toward the back of the mat, coming into warrior two. Soften the shoulders away from the ears, knee over ankle. Exhale, releasing that back hand toward the back of the leg as you reach that right hand up to the sky for reverse warrior. Keeping that shoulder rolled open, so expanding across the chest. Using your core to pull you back up to standing, bringing that right elbow to right knee. As you extend that left hand up to the sky, maybe your hand can come up overhead for extended side angle. Not pressing too firmly into the hand. Should be active in the hip and the abdomen. Inhale, float it back up to warrior two. Straightening that front leg, you're gonna shift the hips toward the back of your mat and begin to reach, reach, reach toward that front foot. Option to stay here, option to side bend just a little bit so that the hand comes down toward the knee, left hand comes up to the sky for triangle pose. Feeling that stretch in the left hip. Exhale, use the core to pull you back up to standing. You're gonna pivot on that back foot so that your toes are facing the front of the mat. Maybe you have to walk that back foot up just a little bit closer. Hinging at the hips, folding forward, tucking that chin down toward the chest so that you create some length in the back of the neck. Inhale, use that core to pull you back up to standing, pressing off of that back leg. You're gonna step that foot up to the top of your mat. 
Inhale, sweep the arms up by your side as you sink the hips down and back, sinking the weight into the heels for chair pose. Maybe you can get a little bit lower here. Shift your weight onto the right leg. Lift that left foot up off of the ground. Go ahead and straighten that right leg, coming up into a half staff position. Hands can come down to hips or heart center. Exhale, sweep that foot toward the back wall as you forward fold, hinging at the waist. Again, tucking that chin, extending nice and long from the crown of the head all the way to the heel. Warrior three, this is a, quite the balance pose. So if you need to hold on to something nearby, you come out of it, just try to come right back into it. Exhale, unhinging at the hips, bringing that left foot back down to meet the earth. I'm gonna face you, but you're gonna step that left foot back, coming into five pointed star. So toes rotate outward. Begin to hinge at the hips so that the chest is what's leading you down to the floor for a wide-legged forward fold. Go ahead and reach those fingertips down to the floor if you can, or you can rest your hands on your thighs. The experience here should be felt in the hamstrings and the inner thighs. Draw the shoulder blades down and back from your ears. Great. Inhale, use that core to pull you back up to standing. You're gonna step off of that back foot, so the right foot, to come up to the top of your mat. Inhale, go ahead to sweep those hands up overhead. You're gonna come back down into your lunge, or sorry, your chair pose. Holding, holding, holding. You're gonna shift all of your weight over onto that left foot. Coming onto the left foot, hovering that right foot up as you begin to straighten your left knee for half staff pose. Hands can come to hips, hands can come to heart center. Inhale, begin to hinge at the hips as you go ahead and kick that right foot toward the back of your mat for your warrior three. Tucking the chin, making sure that the crown of the head is nice and long all the way down toward the heel. Squaring off those hip points to the floor. Exhale, gently releasing that foot back down to the earth. Stepping that right foot back behind you. Again, coming into your five-pointed star. Toes are rotated outward. Begin to Bend the knees so that the knees come over the ankles as you cactus the arms. So you're going to kind of pull your elbows down towards your knees into this goal post. This is goddess pose. We're holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, releasing the knees, bringing the hands back up to the sky. We're going to take a round of goddess squats. So coming down into goddess pose, using those glutes and the under thigh muscle to pull you back up to standing, reaching up to the sky. Coming back down, goddess. Inhale, reach up. And three more. Should be feeling that in the thighs. And those glutes on the way up. Great job. Exhale, releasing the hands back down, pressing off of that back leg to come on up into your mountain pose, drawing shoulder blades down and back, rotating the palms forward. Notice the heat that you've just created in those thighs. Inhale, step that right foot back into your warrior two. Arms float out to the side as you Bring that, bend that knee so it's over the ankle. If you take a peek down, you should notice that the front heel is bisecting the arch of the back foot. Reach along from fingertip to fingertip and send your gaze down that left arm.
Inhale, reverse warrior, bringing that right knee and right hand in contact with each other. Floating that left arm up to the sky. Maybe you keep your gaze forward. Maybe you rotate to look up at that hand, sinking into that front knee. Exhale, use that core to pull you back up, warrior two. Left elbow makes contact with the left knee as you float that right arm up overhead for extended side angle. Again, staying active in the core and the hips, not sinking on that left elbow. You should be able to lift your elbow off of your knee. Inhale, float it back up into warrior two. Go ahead and straighten that front knee. You're gonna bump your back hip toward the back of your mat, engaging in the outer hip muscle. Reach, reach, reach that left fingertip over the left toes. And you feel like you can't reach anymore without collapsing, you have made it. Coming into a little side bend here, the back of the left hand comes to the inner part of the knee as you float that right hand up to the sky for triangle pose. Breathing into that right side body, maybe you can get into that stretch just a little bit more on the exhalation. Again, staying active in the hips. Not really hanging out on the joints. Inhale, use the core to pull you back up to standing. Hands come to hips. Maybe you heel toe that back foot in just a little bit closer. And a pivot on that back toe to face the front of your mat. Hinging at the hips and leading with the heart space. Begin to forward fold, keeping that chin tucked down to the sternum to elongate the back of the neck. Squaring off those hips. And by the way, with um, this forward fold triangle, the feet should be on railroad tracks, so they're not one in front of the other. Um, that would be very challenging for the balance. So if you are having some balance issues here, go ahead and try to widen your stance or your base of support. Inhale, use that core to pull you back up. Press off that back foot, stepping up to the top of your mat. Inhale, coming into mountain pose, drawing the shoulder blades down and away from the ears, spiraling the palms to face forward. Reaching the crown of the head to the ceiling and anchoring the feet into the floor. Breathing. Inhale, lifting those hands up toward the sky. Palms face each other. As you exhale, coming into a little baby back bend. Inhale, pull you back up. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe the knees can be a little straighter here. Inhale, hands come to shin. Into flat. Drawing the shoulder blades down away from the ears, tucking the chin. Nice long spine from the crown of the head down to the tailbone. Draw your navel in toward your spine and notice the elongation that you feel in the low back here. Exhale, gently releasing the hands back down to the floor. Maybe you bend your knees a little bit. Hands, palms come down to the floor as you step it back into your high plank. Always an option to come down to the knees here. Breathe, exhale, releasing the knees, the belly, the chest, and the forehead down to the floor. Facing uh, the palms down to the floor, you're bringing the hands beside your hips, keeping that chin tucked, squeezing the glutes. You're gonna lift the palms off the floor, pulsing 10 times. Breathing, trying to remain soft in the upper shoulder. Two and one, gently release back down to the floor, resting the forehead on the floor, releasing tension in the back line of the body. Palms come out to the side now in this T position. So you should be able to see your hands out of your peripheral vision. 
Inhale, draw the shoulder blades down and back. Lift the chin up off of the floor, tucking it into toward the chest. Inhale, lift those arms up out in this T position and pulse 10 times. So I want you to think about that space in between the shoulder blades, creating some strength in these middle trap muscles. They help to keep our posture upright. Two and one. Exhale, softly release the forehead down to the earth. Release tension that you've created in the back side of the hips. Float the arms up overhead now. Important here to keep the shoulders softened away from the ears. Now rotate the thumbs up toward the sky. As you engage those glute muscles, gently lift those pinkies off of the floor and then exhale back down. 10. Noticing what you feel underneath those shoulder blades now. So we're creating this Y position and that creates a force line for strengthening the lats and your lower traps. And two and one. Exhale, release the, the forehead back down to the floor. You can take your arms down to the side here and gently releasing any tension in the body. So we're gonna come on to the left side of the body, we're taking a side plank variation. So bending the knees, elbow underneath shoulder, and the palm faces the floor. Top hand can come up to hip as you engage the hip muscles on the left side, sending the hips up to the sky. Maybe this is enough. Maybe you can bring that top leg up toward the ceiling. So yes, we're also moving the foot up and down. Four, three, and two, and one. Exhale, release the, the hip back down to the earth. Taking that again, of course, an option to try the exercise. So this is hip abduction. So sending that hip back up toward the sky, Lifting that knee up to the ceiling for five, four, don't let that hip drop down, two, and one, release, good job. So now we're gonna shift over onto the right side here. Right elbow under right shoulder, right palm touches the earth. You want the knees, the hips, and the shoulders to be in a straight line here. And send that right hip up off the floor. Maybe lift that top leg, five, four, three, two, one, release. Inhale, lift up. Keep that right hip nice and high. Maybe inviting that little shake. And five, release. Shifting your weight onto your seat. Go ahead and send those legs out nice and long in front of you. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, forward fold, hinging at the hips, leading with the sternum. Maybe your hands come behind the knees, maybe down to the shins. Maybe you can touch your feet. Just depends on where you are today. Trying to straighten the knees down to the floor. Inhale, grow tall. And when you exhale, releasing into that forward fold a little bit more. Inhale, use that core to pull you back up. You now float your feet up off of the floor for boat pose. So your knees can be bent, shins parallel with the mat. Rolling the shoulders down and back as you expand across the chest, growing tall at the crown of the head. Maybe your hands continue to rest at your side. Maybe you can float them up. We're here for five, four, breathe. And then gently releasing down to the floor, nice and slow, feeling that heat, feeling that shake in the abdomen as you get closer to the floor, experiencing that, and then release. Great job. 
Walk your heels up towards your seat, feet shoulder width apart. You know, press into the heels and peel the hips up off the floor as your hip points raise up toward the sky. Walk your shoulder blades together so that you get that expansion across the chest. And if it's feeling okay, you can lace your hands underneath your hips and press your fingertips down toward your heels. Just when you think you can't lift your hips up higher, try it. Great. Maybe you tap your toes up and down. Noticing maybe the upper hamstrings beginning to engage here. And let's do two more taps on each side. Exhale, release those fingers as you lower down vertebrae by vertebrae, using the core to articulate the spine as you get closer to the tailbone. And then the tailbone is the very last thing that comes down to meet the earth. Inhale, hands come out to the side in this T position. You're gonna crisscross the right foot over the left knee and begin to rock back and forth, feeling some rotation in the low, in the low back. Maybe you can bring that right foot down to meet the earth. Taking your gaze down your right hand. Inhale, use your core to pull you back up as you uncross that right foot back down to the earth, crisscrossing that left foot over right knee. Rocking gently back and forth. Rotating is very good for our nervous system. It mimics um, rocking back and forth in our mother's womb or uh, being held in a rocking chair. Um, so this is very therapeutic in itself. And then exhale, release that left foot down to the floor. You come into that spinal twist. Taking your gaze down your left hand. Inhale, use your core to pull you back up as you uncross that foot, bringing that sole of the foot back down to the earth. Lifting those feet up toward the sky, soles of the feet facing the ceiling. Go ahead and bend your knees. Maybe you grab onto your shins to pull your knees down to the floor. Maybe it's in your practice to grab the outer edges of the feet to drive your knees down toward the floor. Try to get that tailbone as flat with the floor as you can. Happy baby pose. You can kind of rock from side to side here. Maybe find a little playful movement, kicking the leg. Exhale, release the soles of the feet back down to the earth. I'm gonna rotate your palms up to the sky. Sending your feet out nice and long. Toes turn outward. One deep cleansing breath. Feeling up the belly like a balloon. Expanding. And then exhale, release. Notice that energy. <laughs> Piper. Notice the energy that you've created in your body. As you start to soften your heels into your mat, releasing tension in the calf muscle, melting into the floor. Release your thigh and the back of the thigh into the ground. The hips and the low back release any tension, become soft. Let go of the muscles in the belly and the chest. Begin to breathe naturally, slowing your breath, slowing that heart rate. 
elongate across the chest from shoulder to shoulder. Allowing the triceps to melt into the floor. Forearms become heavy.